Music is a universal language, the soundtrack of our lives. Fear, joy, love, sadness, and most any other emotion can be expressed through music. And there's something else about music. It can heal. Just ask TWU professor and music therapist Joe Pinson. Well, music has been, has been a force in healing, you know. Usually it's a change, you know, from, from one, from one uh, level of functioning to a better level of functioning. Now that they can study the brain more carefully with, with uh, electronic imaging, they, they found out that when people engage in music, and I mean by engage, I mean they're, they're singing or performing or doing something musical, all, all sorts of things light up in the brain. To get open harmony, you take the note out of the middle and put it in the bass. And so that's what you're, that's what you're hearing on that first chord, then I carry it through, play it again. In his weekly classes, Joe teaches others how music can be used to treat people, from stress management to the most severe cases of developmental disability. Music, it seems, works magic. And for some reason, the music from handbells is especially therapeutic. That's good. What we know is that that whenever a bell is rung, that there are all sorts of, of, of different harmonics, you know, not just the pitch of the bell, but other, other harmonics that radiate. So I, I think there is some therapeutic quality there that may not have been studied, but, I, but I'm quite sure it's there. All right, let's just see who's here right quick. When class is over at TWU, Joe Pinson gets the chance to practice what he teaches. For nearly 30 years, Joe has been teaching a special group of Denton residents. It's simply called the Denton Bell Band, a special group of people with special needs in life, all ages, all with their own issues and challenges, all bound by one common thread, a love of music and playing the handbells. They're my friends. I've, I've, known, I've known many or most of them for 30 plus years, you know, and we can't, and, and I, I guess you notice the rather social environment in there of, you know, just talking to one another. It's almost like a family reunion whenever we get together. Out of the group of like 23 people, probably only got four or five that read and write. They're all, they're all functioning uh, as children, possibly young adults, but they're all, they're all, they're all very much functioning, you know, in a, at, a, at, a, at a more childlike level. Hands on the bells. Okay, let's get started. It takes a lot of what Joe calls manipulation of the music to get the most of these band members. He relies on two assistants to help keep these musicians focused on ringing their bells at the proper time. Some follow along a specially designed chart. Others take hand cues. A blind member rings his bell when Joe activates a leg vibrator. Those who can't hold the bell push a button. If there is a way for someone to participate, Joe will find it. Thank you, that's very good. But more than just a therapeutic exercise, this is a rehearsal for a public performance. You see, the Denton Bell Band keeps a regular tour schedule. From churches to nursing homes and downtown concerts, the Denton Bell Band is a certain crowd pleaser, and nothing pleases them more than an appreciative audience. Performance is, is, is a very strong therapeutic thing. You know, for these folks to go out to any audience, just make it difference who it is, and to get applause for what they do, oh man, that, you know, it boosts their self-esteem a lot.
Tonight, the Bell Band is at Denton's First Baptist Church for a very unique performance. Tonight, this special needs band is ringing in the holidays for a special needs audience. No one is going to listen to our choir and say, wow, how did they do that? Because we don't, you know, we don't play, you know, we don't play that sophisticated a type of music. But, but I'm hoping that they'll, that they'll be pleased to see that, that, that these folks who are, you know, sometimes discounted in society can sit down and, and make listenable music in an organized fashion. And I think they sense that and I think they appreciate that just the way I appreciate it. It is a celebration communicated in the universal language of music. Sure, in the grand scheme of things, this concert is but a tiny life accomplishment. But for these dedicated musicians, it is a triumph. It's a way they can overcome life's inconveniences, a moment to shine in a spotlight that is rarely afforded them. The members of the Denton Bell Band are, on this night, not just filled with the Christmas spirit, but with the spirit of life itself. And their spirit is infectious. Look at these faces and you see joy, the unblemished joy of simply being. And just maybe, that's what Christmas spirit is really all about.